Hey, what's up, guys? Joel Benavides with the Block Squawk Podcast, and uh, it's not an episode. I just thought I would come on um, real quick. Sorry about the green screen shit. It's, it's all kind of wacky right now because I'm redoing all this stuff, so I got the fucking peanut butter in the background. But I just wanted to talk to you guys about what's going on real quick uh, because I'm looking at the chart. Let's take a look at it. And uh, we're looking at the five minute right now, and you can see that we're in this little uptrend within this um, downward pointing wedge. And uh, and if you look at the order book, I mean, look at that. Look at this big buy wall that's right here at 87.07, right? But look at what we're doing. We're trending upwards, right? You can see, obviously, that the price is going up, right? I mean, it's right there. So why would you be putting buy orders in if you know we're here at the bottom? Um, it's It may bounce here and come back down, which is, I think, a little more likely. But it could go up and hit the... Uh, this uh, this this resistance up here at 8760 approximately 8770 but i mean why would you have that big old buy order in at 8707 8707 is like down here right and by the time it comes down there and it's probably going to be in a downward trend look it's already kind of starting right so these orders are going to execute and the price is going to start coming back down like, unless, you know, there's a major level of support or resistance on the hourly or on the four hour or the daily, I could see it, but it just seems a little silly. Um, that's why, look at all, look at these contrarians over here. You know, they're, they're buying high, or I'm sorry, they're selling high because they're gonna buy low or they already bought low. So, uh, just really fascinating. Uh, it's just uh, one of those instances where we could see price action and the order book uh, telling a very clear story. So I'm going to wait and see. And this, this is only a five minute chart. You know, I have a bigger play that I posted on TradingView earlier. So I'm going to wait and see how it turns out. Uh, but I just thought that it was it would make a potentially like a good example of, uh, of you think you're going to you know it's just FOMO it's FOMO this is that's what this is this is a FOMO wall right here so um, but we'll, uh, we'll we'll chat about it later I just didn't want to let that one slip up um, so uh, we'll talk to you guys in a minute cheers
So um, it may be forming a new wick, uh, but it looks like it's coming back down under. Let's take a look at the at the minute chart, at the one minute chart. It may give us some false signals and some panic selling. Oh no, look, there's a little mini bull flag right there. Uh, so it may break out here, end up forming like a re maybe a reverse hammer ideally in our for our purposes and then uh, end up slamming back down. Let's take a look. Yeah, I'd say we're looking at a... Or, you know, this could push that upper end of the, you know, this upper end resistance uh, a little higher, but... Or I could be totally wrong. It's just interesting. Let's continue to take a look at it. Either way, regardless of whether it breaks out above it, um, you know, if it, or it comes back down, you have that set of orders right there at 87.10. It's silly. Given the circumstances, Even on the, you know, on the one hour chart, you know, we're, we're, we're up here and, you know, 8707 is, is way further down. Um, so, you know, if you buy in there, where does that put you? It puts you buying high within the current frame of reference. So let's take a, let's take a look at the daily maybe. You know, in the long term, maybe, but you know, why the emphasis on this 8707 level? You know? Let's jump back over to one minute. Got a little red candle there. going on with the music yeah here we go here's the bounce look at that awesome there it is guys so where are those 8707s now where are we? Where's 8707? Let's take a good look. Right there. Right there. That's 8707. Maybe take another few minutes. Probably some shorts going off on BitMEX too right around now. Let's take a look. Let's take a look at BitMEX. Where, where are you, BitMEX? I don't have BitMEX up right now. Take a gander. Yeah, here are those folks with shorts going off like crazy. It's basically the same same situation, guys. Alright, let's go back to Bitfinex. Now, when those buy orders at 8707 go off, we may see ourselves come back up for a little bit. Um, but I uh, am gonna imagine that we're going down. Let's uh, let's draw from uh, an open down to a close. And just imagine that right around here. So, um, for the remainder of the afternoon, we could be, uh, not afternoon, but, you know, for the remainder of uh, the hour or so, we could be uh, on our way down. I mean, look at that. All right, guys. Well, I think um, I wanted to hang out and watch the 8707, 8707's bounce, but... Um, I think that essentially proves our point. 
Uh, so um, I'm gonna be out of here. I'll be back, uh, what is it, the 29th? So day after tomorrow, Friday, I'll be back with episode 51 and the uh, reboot of Black Squawk with Joel Benavides. We'll see you guys later. Peace.